Cause he knows my name. For saving me. And uh, we was at Antioch on Sunday night and the kids, the boys helped them sing a song that he's everything to me and or that's part, what was part of the song was and I've never thought a lot about it like this but if they can ever say that they're thankful for something, they're thankful for life because without God, me and my wife would have never gotten married and without God and us being married, they'd have never been born. So I want to thank the Lord for all that he's done for me because you see, Joe, everything I've got, God has given to me. I mean, I know I've worked hard for a lot of the stuff you see at the house, but it's him that makes, lets me get up in the morning, Joe. It's him that's given me the knowledge to do what I've done. It's him that's opened the doors uh, of, of, of doors that seem like people fight for. It seems like God just let me walk right on in. I want to thank the Lord because everything I've got, I give him honor for. Praise the Lord. Bless His name. Appreciate all the volunteers. Maybe somebody to have a testimony tonight. Say something for the Lord. He's a wonderful. He's a great provider. Somebody else. Yes. Amen. Somebody else. After all the blunders that I've made in my life, and look how God's blessed me anyway. Amen. I'm so thankful that the Lord allows second chances. I'm so glad that He lets us, looks over our ignorance. I'm so glad He looks over our complaints. Because sometimes what we're complaining about, He's preparing us for something greater. And uh, I'm glad He don't get tired of me. I'm glad you don't get tired of me. Sometimes I question a lot the things that's going on. And uh, today the Lord put me in people's path that's been here to church before. And uh, it breaks my heart to see where they are now. And uh, I, I'm so glad that the Lord puts us in places at the right place at the right time. I'm not talking about if you'd have been there a minute earlier or a minute later, you'd have missed it. But the Lord plants us where he wants us. Ain't he amazing? He's amazing. Somebody else tonight got something you'd like to say.
think about y'all and pray for each and every one of y'all. And um, I just love this church. I love y'all. I love every yeah, one of you. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all opening your arms up and accepting me in. Amen. Amen. Husband come come to me, and uh, he said, "Please pray that my wife would come with me to church." And it wasn't but about two services later, I saw a strange face come by. He wasn't far behind you with a smile on his, and I knew who it was. Amen. Prayer really does work, don't it? Amen. Somebody else tonight. Somebody else. Something you'd like to say? I do have a message, but I don't have to preach. Every once in a while, it'll do you good. It's not that I'm volunteering. I'm just doing what's my lot. Sometimes it's good for you to uplift the name of the Lord. Right. It won't hurt you sometimes to step out of your comfort zone and do something you've never done. Just say something. Right. Amen. This is not my comfort zone, but this is where God has called me. Somebody else got something you'd like to say? I guess forget to thank the Lord and forget to praise the Lord, but I never want to be guilty of ceasing to praise Him or not praising Him as often as I should. And I, I know I'm guilty of it. But uh, Brother Brandon asked me before church if I had a pair of pliers, and I know this is just a natural illustration, I guess, but bought me a pair of pliers a couple weeks ago, and I mean, as you can see, they're not very new. Spilt some chemical on them last week, and they were real shiny and real pretty, and Thought about my life when I got saved as an eight-year-old boy. I was real dirty, and uh, the Lord come by my way and cleaned me up. But due to uh, the choices I have made, due to being around the wrong things, I turned my back and I got all rusty. I got all dirty. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just—I made a mess out of my life. I made so many mistakes. But I went year after year and year after year, and I thought about what Brother Dale said about God coming back, having second chances. And uh, there's a lot of people that's had second chances, uh, and I'm one of them. And I just want to thank the Lord for coming back when I when I had made myself dirty again. But He come by one more time and made me spotless. And I took the blood and wiped my sin away. And I just Amen. want to thank the Lord for saving my soul and for changing me. Thank you, Jesus. The wonderful thing about Jesus is is once you come back to Him. And you'll beat yourself up the rest of your life for backsliding. But thank God for mercy that you come back. But the wonderful thing about Jesus is he never holds that against you. He allows you to just start all over and say, come on, son, let's go. And he won't leave you rusty. Amen. He'll shine you back up again. Praise the Lord. Somebody else tonight got something you'd like to say. Chance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. No. That's right. Consider the lilies. They neither sow nor toil. But Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of those. He lets the flower bloom amongst the thorns. Nobody ever comes by to see. But yet all the beauty of the Savior, he sees it. And he sees his own handiwork of letting it bloom through the thorns and die. Nobody ever sees it. How much more beautiful that a soul would be on their way to hell. Such a wretched sinner. I mean made a wreck out of your own life. I'm talking about went a long ways and your life was just a mess. But still God so much more. He made that flower perfect to start with. But he 
He made you perfect, but we messed it all up. But in the midst of all of that train wreck of sin in our life, Jesus come directly back to us, stretched him arms out, picked us back up. I'm looking at lives in here tonight that was so broken. The enemy is accuser of the brethren, and if he could make an appointment in heaven the day you got saved, Homer, I guarantee you he was calling out to the Savior. Throw him away. Joe Larkin, the night you put your knee on that altar down there, center pigeon, I'd say the enemy would say, throw him away. He ain't no good, but Jesus says, I've never thrown one away that wanted me to put them back together. He said, if you'll come to me, I'll in no wise cast you out. Man, we've been praying for people in this church for a long time that's way, way, way down there. But they ain't never been one so broken that God don't wrap his big arms around and pick them up and love them and put them back together. What a Savior, what a Savior. Who am I to look down on anybody as wretched and low down as I was? Who am I to say they're not worth anything when I'm not worth anything? outside the blood of Jesus you ain't worth nothing but can you say by the blood by the blood by the blood I've got a brand new coat and it looks just like his and if the world could ever get a hold of what I've got hey this world would be a good place to live in oh but you know what it's getting wickeder and wickeder and wickeder but that don't give me no space and time to stop letting the world know there's a bright side somewhere if you'll turn your life over to Jesus. Amen. He'll take your life. He'll turn you into something that would blow your mind. Amen. What it takes you now to get high on every day you can live a week on. Amen. And having peace with God. Amen. Living in this world. Hallelujah. The world thinks we're crazy for being like we are. But if I lay down tonight and never get up in the morning you can say I've had a good life. I've had a good life. I wouldn't trade the life I I live for Jesus Christ than anything in this world. Amen. I've got a good life a living for Jesus Christ. It ain't in what you see in the parking lot or over yonder on the hill. It's what I've got right here. I've got peace and contentment that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd rather see your boys and them little girls of yours and my boys your daughter, all these babies standing around this microphone singing Jesus loves me is to have everything the world could pile up. Amen and give me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Be faithful, Brandon. Thank you. I've heard your testimony with him as a kid, the things that he went through. Amen. Some of you is raised in church and you've got a good reason to praise the Lord, but they, some of you wasn't. But the Lord give you such a good chance and here you are tonight. The Lord's put us together and you can look at your life and look at your kids. Ain't you glad that your grandbabies will never know what the old papa was? <laughs> Ain't you glad, Brandon, your boys can never look down the driveway hoping you're going to come home. They know you're going to come home. They know on Wednesday night where we're going. They know on Sunday morning where we're going. They ain't got to wonder if daddy's alive in the morning. Wonder if he overdosed over the night. Amen. Why is mama crying? Is daddy dead somewhere? Hallelujah. You're to bless him. That used to be some of you, by the way. But tonight, here we are. Hey, I said tonight, here we are. Amen. Sitting in the house of the Lord. Saved and born to kids. Amen. I'm glad I'm a brand new creature. I'm glad your babies don't have to know who you used to be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I've heard Homer say that he would see his mama open the window, see him coming up the driveway, and then turn the light off to know he's home safe. Ain't you glad Tammy don't have to do that? Your babies, your grandbabies won't have to worry. Will Papa be here in the morning? Your grandbabies know if Papa ain't here in the morning, it'll be because I've went on to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Somebody else tonight. 
somebody else. I feel like somebody else wanting to testify. Are you trying to get out of preach? No. Sometimes the Spirit just leads us certain ways. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. me far beyond Me too. Me too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I love you, Jesus. To have what you've got. You can't ever be a good boy enough. But it's all by the hand of Jesus. Amen. He'd give you what you've got. Somebody else tonight. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. So many stories that went on on the battlefield just blows my mind that the hand of God, the hand of God. Thank you, Lord. He's a shield. He's a shield. How many times has He come down between you and the, you and death? Not today. Not today. Somebody else tonight. Someone else tonight. Reflecting on God, I can't think of one time that He's ever failed me. Never. <clears throat> but look at all the times that I've failed Him. Mm -hmm. And um, I, countless times He's lifted up my head, and I just want to thank Him for that. He, Praise the Lord. Like that song that you sing, he's been better than good. <clears throat> he's really been better than good. Amen. Amen. That he is a lifter up of my head. Yeah. I will look into the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Lord. Somebody else tonight. How about that? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Brother Jason told me a story. of it. I don't know if it's his papa or was an old man of God up there in his country. It was a bad drought in uh, the country where they was at. He was working a long way from home. Of course, had to walk. <clears throat> Mountain caught on fire, heading towards his house. And somebody, somebody run as hard as they could run and found him. He was a long ways off. Told him the mountain's on fire and it's heading towards your house. Hadn't rained in a long, long time. And I mean just burning as fast as it could go. Jesus said he got out on his knees and he said, Lord, 
Now you know that's all I've got. Would you please let it rain just right over my house, please? Now it ain't rained in a long time. But they said there was a cloud that come out of the across the hill and come and stood right over his house. And started pouring out the rain. And it rained all around his house. And that old fella just got up off his knees and went back to work. Knowing the God he talked to could make it happen. Amen. Old Lee Cope's daddy, they come home from church one Sunday morning and their house had burnt down. Now I don't know what I'd do if I was to go home to that. But he got on the old concrete slab where the front porch was. And he lifted both hands and said, Naked came I into the world. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. God's got something better for you. Amen. Somebody else tonight. No. See, when you hear testimonies like this, the one writer said, increase our faith. So it increases my faith to hear stories like that, that God would care enough about somebody with a chainsaw stuck that he would send the rain or the wind to blow the tree over. He can do it. He's got you out of a lot of messes. And me too. Somebody else. Yeah, that's and right. Children are watching us. They are. And, uh, I want to be able to live where my children will not ever know who I used to be. Amen.
someone else. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus.
try. That's where he wants you to go. And he does. He protects me. He gives me what I mean. He gives me the words to say. And I ask that the church pray for me and my family. That I will be what they what God would have me to be. And as we all know, my next heart sometimes. The flesh. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Christmas on the 25th, and there's no guarantee that's when Jesus was born. But it's not the date, it's the occasion. We celebrate Easter on a different Sunday every year. It's a different date. Some years it's earlier in April. Is it April? Is that when Easter is? Sometimes it's earlier than normal. And, but it's not the date that matters. It's the occasion that there was a man got out of a grave and went back 40 days later and sat down on the right hand of the Father and make an intercession for us. I'm not going to argue with you over, over what the date was, but I know that it happened. Amen. I can't tell you when I got saved either the date. I can take you to the exact spot. I can tell you how I felt. I, ain't, I didn't write it down. I have no idea. But that really don't make no difference if you do know. You can come to the altar and write it down and get baptized. I can give you a certificate. But if you didn't give it and don't live it, that ain't worth a hill of beans. But if you know what happened in your heart, you can take the devil back to that spot and say right here is where it happened. Amen. I don't know what the date was, but I know there was an occasion and it changed my life. Amen. It changed my life. Amen. They sing that song. It was on a Monday, Tuesday. They get to Sunday. They, they added an extra verse for people like me and you. I don't know what day it was. Somebody touched me. That song. So I don't know what day it was, but somebody did touch me. Somebody else tonight. Thank the Lord. I appreciate every testimony. See, it'll do you good. And uh, see, sometimes a pastor... And I heard my brother say this when he was preaching and pastoring and, and I was just a small boy, service kind of like this in the church he was pastoring. I was with him one night and he said, you know, if I stand at this end of the culvert and see the water pouring in and walk over here to this end and nothing ever comes out, I wonder where it's going. But he said, if I pour my whole life into this church and do my very best and walk to the other side and on, on a Wednesday night, people start testifying and glorifying God and giving in testimonies and praising God. Then you know what that is? It's pouring out the other side. So our work is not in vain. Sissy, your, sometimes you think the places he puts you, nobody knows. Your work is not in vain. Your work is not in vain. Thank God. I believe it would be good if Ethan and Brandon would play Consider the Lilies. God thinks a whole lot more of you than he does the lily. He kisses the flowers each morning with dew. But he's never too busy to care about you. Sing it, church.
Let's all stand to our feet tonight. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, what an honor it is to be in your house. What an honor it is to be in your family. What an honor it is to be blessed by you.